uh, game four. Due this two one up, and we believe Blues just played back through three back perfectly to give this a really difficult jump shot, more difficult than the one Jenny failed in the first game, which gave you do this a big advantage. So I'm a don't have a go at this. You're two one up. Concede the hoop. Well, nice height, so uh, better than Jenny in terms of likelihood of knocking blue through. Um, and black should just play into nice position. Just short of the halfway line to uh, five. Red's now offside. That's very much a break back, because um, Judith had first play down to uh, four. Having run a really good hoop three, excellent shot. That's a good, good black there from Jenny. And Judith um, looks like she's going to try and clear blue. I think she's got a bit poking out either side of her hoop here. Um, obviously missing it puts yellow in a bad position as well. And, I think I would have been happy with red and yellow as both good on the side balls and two all. Hmm, great effort. You know, she's hit the middle of the target there, but she's um, seven yards northeast of the peg. So, uh, two all. And she's asking for. Uh, Red over to this penalty spot. Lawn now much slower. And Judith left her, left her approach to one well, about five yards short. And really starting to get some dew on the lawns. It's a good shot. He's in front. And Jenny will take inside position and then clear, clear with blue. That's a lovely shot with black. Not quite good enough to get the block though, unfortunately. It's just a sort of security blanket for if you miss the um, red. Judas is uh, going to take position here. Yellow coming in, it's uphill to hoop five from there, and she's left it short. That puts a extra bit of bonus on for Jenny if she can just tonk this red off in the middle now. A good line to see her, she hasn't got a straight swing at the moment, haven't really been working on that this year, so you'll see a crooked, crooked mallet address. You can see it's pointing left, and then it swings up, and it just, as she swings more, it gets better and better. Wristy shot. So, can she play one of her really good stop shots and keep that in position? No, didn't quite get the grip. So that'll allow Jenny back in and um, really shows how bad this yellow is now. That should just have been a clearance to the north boundary with the yellow in front. And Jenny should be able to play three yards in front and yellow will niggle in front of the hoop. And she'll probably end up with a clearance from the south boundary. That's short. Oh, she's gone for wide position. Fair enough. Fair enough. Didn't think it was a big wire. I thought she'd just probably play in front of her, but... Um, I was trying to get wide from red. I suppose the wire from red wasn't, wasn't that small. 
And it does hill around the short as well. So yeah, it hasn't done at all well there. Really have a strong position there to get 3-2 and maybe 4-2 up. And now do this all over this. Another good stop shot clearance, keeping Red in control. So, 15 yarder here for Jenny. Maybe 16, probably. Hasn't hit very much in the last half hour and missed that by about four balls on the right. So how angled is this? Not very angled at all. Should be running this up past the peg. Well, that's not bad I don't think. Jenny might, she's, Blue's fairly angled here, so she might be able to get um, yellow out, just so we're going to smash it as hard as she can, half ball, and I think she might be okay. If she's lucky, Blue will sort of hit the hoop and stay within five yards. Oh, really good. Oh, that's uh, well back in the hoop now. Not sure how easy it is for yellow to clear. I think yellow can clear it to, to north of the hoop. And uh, that will be strong for Judith, so just needs a good positional shot. Well, that's, it's further back than I would have gone. I'd want a shorter hoop than that. But it's dead straight, and yeah, yeah she is a good hoop runner. Um, generally playing back in here. The block on red running the hoop's good. The block on yellow clearing blue's not bad. Um, so, you know, plenty of options. Oh, it's in there. That's oh, a block on nah, just short of short of the block on red. So uh, nice opportunity for Judith. Uh, three quarter ball on the left with power. Yeah. Had it on the right, and um, this is another. This should just be meat and drink at this stage of a golf croquet tournament. These five, six yarders. Your only danger here is hitting it on the left and clearing black as well with blue. But as I say, she's uh, she's missed pretty much everything she's shot at for a little while, and it's just one by being good around hoops. Shot Jenny. So you probably notice that wasn't as hard as Jenny would normally clear it. She's only cleared it about nine yards. So she's probably just focused on getting that swing back under control until she's a bit more settled and grooved. Still a really tough take out for Judith this. The good news for Judith is that yellow's up um, four or five yards uh, southwest of hoop six, so I think that's on side. Oh, that's not bad either. So this would normally be a free go at running hoop five, but for me, with yellow on side up by six, I'm just going to dribble up and take position. Um, you're in a really strong position here. Yeah. 
and she's looking for the wide position from Yellow. Shot jam. Hasn't got it. It's an open, open shot here for Judith, which will get her well back in the hoop. Oh, I really thought she'd take that. Reds are on the uh, west boundary. I'm very surprised Judith didn't take that. Jenny's now opening her shoulders a bit, and instead of taking position, she's going to just start clearing again. Try and keep control of the hoop. Take first clearance all the time. And again, came over that with that left hand coming through. Um, so, big chance for Judith to play a power cl clearance. Get rid of black. And um, hoop five, always important. Particularly at two all. Uh, 15, 16 yarder. Good shot. Jenny will just play back in here, let Yellow have a go at the hoop if she fails the block. Looks promising. Now it's short. It's in front, but um, choice is for Yellow now. Stop shot clearance on black, which will keep control of the hoop, or we'll go at the hoop. I think Judith is taking the hoop on. Be a big one to win after this big battle. She ran a fabulous E3 with a sort of stop shot technique. It was quite interesting. Yeah, good shape. Very good.